needle drops. Anthony Fantano here, Internet's busiest music nerd. Got to do a uh, little album review here, but before I do that, I want to tell you guys that the new Villagers LP, Becoming a Jackal, is now streaming at NPR Music. Link down there in the D box. Listen to the whole thing. It's going to get reviewed on the channel. Faux show. Okay. Sleepy Sun. Fever, this is the sophomore album from this California sextet. And a little bit of backstory, in 2008, these guys dropped the LP Embrace. And that album, to me, just bled. Just bled potential, but lacked the power adequate to blow my jaw clear off of my face. The band's combination of psychedelia, progressive rock, blues, and folk really caught my attention, but something was just missing. And now it's 2010, this is Fever, and the band has improved. One, the recording quality is way better. The effects are clear as a bell, and there's a ton of variation on there too, just loading a plethora of color onto this LP. The guitar distortion is rougher than a trucker's stubble, and when this thing gets loud, it gets loud. I love hearing a band who values soft, ethereal, acoustic sounds as much as they value loud, abusive sounds. Someone's calling me. I'm filming a video review right now. Plus, something that is totally awesome for me, there are a few really badass harmonica solos on this LP that you really need to put on your ears. Two, more memorable songs, just melodies and sonic textures that when I heard them for the first time on this album, they just blew up in my brain and burned themselves onto the back of my skull. Great solos, ambitious builds, and the feel of this record is really just sticking with me. It embodies the idea of progressive rock without bordering into sheer guitar wankery. Three, it calls back to an earlier era of rock music without sounding overly nostalgic or dated. Four, b better album cover? I don't know. On my first real hard listen to this album, it just had me thinking of my first experiences with Pink Floyd, Black Sabbath, King Crimson, Black Mountain, and not to say that Sleepy Sun sounds like these bands, they really don't. But like those bands, Sleepy Sun has a very equal mix of visceral and intellectual elements in their music. It just felt like a really refreshing rock experience. That's really what I'm connecting this to. All of those LPs and this one just felt like a refreshing experience with rock and roll. Yes, it's not too simple. Yes, it's not too technical. Yes, it's not too pretty. Yes, it's not too rough. It's just the yin and the yang of all these different elements combined. Just a great balance. And when these guys embark on a long song, it really feels like a journey. But one of my major issues with the LP is that the shorter tracks, especially the acoustic ones with a really dry mix, feel so much less mystical than the longer tracks with more effects and more dynamics and more volume. Still, the softer and shorter songs do play a very good counterpoint role throughout this LP. My one other issue with is that the vocals from time to time felt a little too sedate, a little too sleepy, but these guys are sleepy sun. I don't know. Maybe that's more of a personal thing. I'm not saying the vocals were performed badly. Maybe just in need of a more of a kick from time to time. A lot of songs on this thing wowed me. There were a few that were just alright, and it did meander in just a couple places just a couple. But despite all that, it's a great follow-up to their debut album, and this thing gets a high recommendation from me to anybody who is a fan of the bands that I mentioned earlier in this review, or if you're someone who's looking for some heavy, heavy rock music with a very psychedelic and progressive edge to it. If that's what you're looking for, then this is where you want to be, because this is really something that you could throw on a pair of huge speakers and just blast it and just let the sound take over you, while the softer, gentler tracks kind of come in between those louder moments and just provide a little bit of solace, a little bit of serenity. I'm going to give this a strong 7 to a light 8. I'm really friggin' digging on it. I love the sounds. I love the feel. I love the aura of this album. Give it a listen. Links down to hear some of it in the D-Box. And let me know what you think. Anthony Fantano, Sleepy Sun Fever, forever.